Hey, what's up guys? Dopesar930 here. Hope you all are doing great. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how Call of Duty basically ruined gaming for me. And um, I know that's ironic because I'm playing a Call of Duty uh, game in this video, but uh, you'll understand in a moment here. So basically, growing up, um, I started playing video games at a pretty young age. My parents bought me an N64 when I was younger, and I played that heavily. I went from N64 to PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. 360, um, and now, you know, PS4, basically, like, PC kind of here and there, and, um, all the way up until 360, all I played was obviously, like, you know, story mode, campaign, whatever you want to call it, um, because that's pretty much all that there was, I mean, not really, the PS2 had online, um, I never used it, though, I didn't even know that was a thing up until not that long ago, actually, um, but yeah, I never, I never had any, multiplayer games that I could play obviously I mean I, I had the exception of like split screen stuff where I'd have my friends coming over and we play like GoldenEye on the N64 and you know I had split screen games but nothing that was actually online over the internet or a network of any sort and um so yeah my I mean I played all sorts of games I have all these like you know Mario games I like Crash Bandicoot, Spyros, uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Jack, um, Banjo Kazooie's, like I mean, I mean, I've hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of games I've played um, from the time I was little till now, and I've always had a really terrible attention span. I mean, awful. I I, I start a lot of projects and then I don't finish them because I get bored with them and I find the next thing. Um, you know, I I hardly finish video games I, ever. I hardly ever finish them because I. I would get to a certain point, I'd get stuck, I'd put in, you know, a little bit of effort, a certain amount of effort, and then I would stop, i just, you know, if, if I couldn't get it, then, you know, basically, that was it, and, um, I was never allowed to play shooting games, I was never allowed to play any games that were rated M, or I think even some teen I wasn't allowed to play, even when I was, I don't remember exactly, but I know that I was definitely never allowed to play a shooting game, um, that is, until, <laughs> until Call of Duty, and, basically, what happened was, is I got a Xbox 360 for Christmas. It was an elite Xbox, and um, this was, gosh, oh, it was my junior year in high school, I want to say. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Years. I think it was 2006. I think that's when MW2 came out. I want to say it's 2006. No, that's not right. 2009. I, uh, actually, no, 2009. I'm sorry, 2006. I believe it was 2009 when I got it. The Christmas of 2009, and. Um, I got my Elite, I had MW2 and Halo, this was the first time my mom had ever let me play, you know, a shooting game, she, she finally was like, yeah, it's fine, you guys can play this, and she wasn't thrilled about it, you know, me and my brother, but <clears throat> she allowed us to, and so I was so stoked, I mean, I had a group of guys I used to play with in high school, a couple were buddies from, you know, school that I've known for a long time, and a couple were just dudes that I met through them that I, you know, um, like, played with online, and Every single day, every single day, I kid you not, for like a year almost, I mean close to it, if not a year, I'd go home, I'd play MW2, I'd go home, I'd play MW2, and this this happened over and over and over again, and I had so much fun, I had so much fun, I, we would troll people, we would make jokes, we would have fun, I mean it was probably the best, or, uh, I have such a nostalgia actually with, with other consoles as well, but I mean, it's got to have been the most fun I've had with video games in uh, as long as I can remember. And it, it was so much fun. And um, basically, that became what I did when I wanted to play video games. No more was it about stories. No more was I didn't play, I've never played a Call of Duty campaign ever, and I've had every single Call of Duty. Um, I, I, I stopped playing campaign. My My definition of a video game was you know, go, is interacting with your friends, or, you know, people online, and, and hopping in a lobby, you know, killing some people, and, you know, getting off whenever you wanted to, there was no story needed, um, there was no, I'm stuck here, I'm stuck there, no, it's just, you know, use your weapons, go out, kill some people if you can, try not to die, you know, as much as possible, and, I mean, again, this didn't, this went on that year, and then it was the same thing with the next Call of Duty, and the next Call of Duty, and that went on, you know, up until I fell off, um, with like Black Ops 2, but I got just busy and caught up with life, I wasn't playing any other video games, I just didn't do anything at all, and, um, you know, video game wise, and 
for me, you know, having the short attention span that I have and, you know, had even before I had Call of Duty, which is a very now, now, now instant kind of game, I basically trained myself and that became my definition of what a game was. And over the past couple of years, I've tried to play a lot of games, especially with my buddy um, Jimmy, who I met like a little probably a year and a half ish ago now. Um, he's a huge gamer and he plays all sorts of games, you know, campaign and full games. He's patient. He plays through all the, you know, these games. And I'm just like, holy, holy crap. I, I don't know how you have the patience to go through these things. But, um, you know, I've tried a lot to play a lot of these other games and I just, I can't, I can't. I've tried so hard. I mean, Destiny, I beat or, you know, I played through what I could really so far story mode wise. But again, it was, it felt a lot like, a, you know, it was a first person shooter it felt right in my comfort zone, and that's the only reason why I was actually able to do that. So, I don't know. It's just something that I realized the other day, and I got I love Call of Duty. I'm playing it near, you know, all my commentaries are Call of Duty, but I'm just saying Call of Duty definitely killed off video games and changed my definition of what video games are, were, and, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. But, again, I do have a lot of fun playing Call of Duty. It just sucks that I can't play any other games anymore, really, but... Anyways, that's really it, guys. Um, I'm kind of wondering if anyone has any other sort of similar stories um, where, you know, you just pretty much play Call of Duty now and before that wasn't the case. Um, or if, you know, different game or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I thought I wanted to share that with you guys. And, uh, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. And, I don't know, maybe you can relate. But, um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for more commentaries, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking it out. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. As always, hope you are doing well. And I'm out. Peace. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.